Hey everybody, it's your favorite nerd, Mike Myers, asking the big question, what's on the CompTIA A plus 220902 exam? Now the 220902 is the second of two exams you need to take to become A plus certified. Now, a lot of people call the 220902 the software exam, and I gotta disagree with that. To me, it's more the operating system exam. It's heavy, heavy, heavy on Windows, but also covers things like Linux and OS X as well. Now, to wrap your head around what the 220902 exam is all about, you need to understand that CompTIA presents these objectives. It's a big list of information that you need to pass the 220902. There are five big objectives on the 220902. Let's take a look at those. First is Windows operating systems at 29% of the exam. Second is other operating systems and technologies at 12%. Third is security at 22%. Fourth is software troubleshooting at 24%. And fifth is operational procedures at 13%. These are big objectives and they're just the highest level of objectives. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go onto the CompTIA website, by the way, www.comptia.org, and I'm gonna download the 220902 objectives so we can take a look at those together. Here they are right here. So if you take a look here, first of all, you'll see that objective 1.0 is Windows operating systems. But what's important are these level two objectives. So we see 1.1, 1.2, and this keeps going on and on for all the different ones. So let's just pick on one. Let's take a look at 1.2. Given a scenario, install Windows PC operating systems using appropriate methods. So this is gonna tell us right off that the 220902 is going to hit you with a lot of questions about installing and upgrading Windows. So bracing for that, it's all of these little details underneath this that show us exactly the type of information it's going to want us to know. So I'm just going to pick one. So here's partitioning, dynamic, basic, primary, extended, logical, and GPT. So what that's telling me is that CompTIA wants me to be really comfortable with the different type of partitions that I can make on a hard drive when I'm installing or upgrading Windows. So we go into this in a lot of detail because boy, CompTIA sure likes to ask you questions about that on the 220902. So it's important that you download your own copy of these objectives. Now I've shown you where to get them, so you should do that. Now, Let's go ahead and start breaking down each of these five objectives with a little bit of detail. So let's start with, I don't know, Windows operating systems. The Windows operating system domain on the 220902 is the biggest single domain on the exam. Boy, does it cover Windows. Now it covers Windows Vista, Windows 7, Windows 8, Windows 8.1 but it doesn't cover 10, which is kind of interesting. However, it does go into a lot of detail. And when I'm talking about detail, things like the Windows 8.1 charms or running Vista, gosh, I'm trying to think of something quickly, people near me, a lot of little nuanced little features that varied from the different versions of Windows that are covered on the exam. So you're supposed to know about all these little features. On top of that, you need to be installing all these different features. Who can you upgrade to what, to when, and what are your hardware requirements? It goes into a lot of detail, but it doesn't stop there. And from here, it's gonna go into all your control panel utilities, all of the different administrative utilities, and even command line stuff. It's a big, heavy part of the 220902, and you need to know this stuff. However, they're not afraid to go into other operating systems. Other operating systems is a very interesting objective because while it certainly covers things like Linux, really Linux only at the command line and OS 10, where it really gets kind of cool is it asks some very basic iOS and Android type questions. But it really doesn't just stop with other operating systems. The actual objective name is other operating systems and technologies. And in particular, it goes into a lot of virtualization questions, making sure you know like what's the difference between software as a service and infrastructure as a service. It's a really, really fun objective and one I like to do quite a bit. Third though, third is security. Security on the 220902 is an interesting little objective because it's really 
two different kinds of security. There is securing an individual system, and then there's also securing that system in terms of how it works on the network. So it's kind of got two pieces to it. Now, a lot of the system-based security is gonna be really what I would consider more basic stuff, like setting up certain types of permissions for users and things like that. Whereas to me, the network stuff is like malware and little software firewalls for your system and a lot of stuff like that. Oh, and by the way, this is an example of where the 220902 certainly does cover hardware, things like fingerprint scanners and retinal scanners and all kinds of fun security stuff like that. So the fourth objective I wanna cover is software troubleshooting. Software troubleshooting is in my opinion, the most difficult objective of any objective on either the 220901 or the 220902. When you look at the detailed objectives given by CompTIA, it talks about things like, for example, on a base system, blue screens of death, system lockup, you can't install software, compatibility issues, weird screens. There's a lot of troubleshooting issues in here, which you see on the a exams as what we call scenario type questions. So they can be a little bit challenging. Along with this are network-based questions. Now remember the 220902 is not a networking exact type of certification, but there is a lot of times where the single system needs to get on the network. So you'll run into networking type troubleshooting issues like I'm getting pop-ups or I can't print to a printer or I'm having some type of connectivity problems with my server. So in that type of situation, you really are talking about networking problems, but only in terms of how do I get this system to work properly to get connected to whatever I need to do. It's a pretty interesting little objective. All right, the last one is probably the quirkiest objective, and that is operational procedures. Now the reason I call operational procedures quirky is, well, it covers a lot of stuff that we as nerds don't like to admit that we need to know. Good communication skills, proper documentation, even things like computer forensics, all come under our umbrella from time to time, and this is where it's covered. Along with that are certain safety issues, proper lifting techniques, how to read a material safety data sheet, other little things. Now, what's funny about this is I've been teaching a for, well, a long, long time, and this is the one objective where a lot of technicians think they know this stuff, but they really don't. And you'll find this to be incredibly informative.